Is anybody even watching? Well, if they are, my name is Melissa and I have a Walmart grocery haul for you. So, uh, for non-food related items, um, I have this here hummingbird, uh, hummingbird feeder uh, food. Uh, we have a lot of hummingbirds around our house uh, and because it's winter, you know, they don't have a lot of food around so I like to keep them fed. Um, placards. I don't think you need much explanation for those. Um, I'm gonna try some new eyelash glue. Um, it's in black and I got some eyelashes to go along with them. A um, little bit bigger than I normally use but they're they're cute. My substitutions was these garbage bags um, in eucalyptus mint. Um, I had gotten the, the Febreze ones, but they were out of stock. Also, we got some of this um, Not not Your Mother's uh, dry shampoo. Uh, this will be a first time trying this, uh, so we'll see how well um, that goes. Okay, move into produce. I got three large things of mushrooms. Everybody in my house really likes mushrooms. Try to get these things out of the way. Um, I got some cracked black pepper turkey breast for sandwiches during the week. I will try it with that so I can get to the rest of the produce. Um, so for produce I have some strawberries which they're still in the plastic but they look pretty good. I think they'll be okay. Uh, raspberries was another substitution. I had ordered blackberries, um, but they substituted for raspberries. Uh, so I hope these are sweet. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure who's going to eat them. Uh, two bunches of cilantro. We eat a lot of cilantro around here. Uh, we also have guinea pigs, and the guinea pigs love to eat cilantro too. Um, we have three of them. Um, so we do go through a lot of produce. Um... Four zucchini, two pounds of carrots, a really big head of uh, romaine. So got some ground pork, and some, yeah, a pound and a half of ground pork. Uh, let's see what else. Some Johnsonville Vermont maple syrup breath breakfast um, links. So we got two packages of those. Also got two packages of ground beef. So typically I will buy this package of ground beef um, in this type of container, but I noticed that Walmart also sells them in these, you know, these, these packaged uh, rolls. Um, usually I've not had good luck with ground beef inside of these rolls. It's usually uh, not the best, um, but I thought since they're both labeled the same that maybe it might be the same ground beef so I thought I would give it a try because these are easier to um, just stick in the freezer when you get them home instead of having to put them into the box. Uh, we got two packages of the large egg, package of country fried steaks. These are a really easy breakfast or even a quick dinner. You, know, you can serve them with eggs and hash browns or you can serve them with like a mashed potato and some green beans. I got some of this no calorie sweetener. Um, some of us do use this in the house. My box is pretty beat up, but that's okay. Uh, we got a big thing of 120 cups, two cans of Pringles, uh, a thing of Arby's curly fries, two packages of these deli style uh, seasoned potato wedges. Um, hopefully those will be good. That was a substitution as well. Um, we haven't tried those before. Um, golden tater tots. Two packages of the uh, the hash brown patties. Um, I do have three kids, so we do a lot of breakfast around here. Um, two pa uh, not packages, but two bags of the Tostitos Cantina Thin and Crispy. Uh, that seems to be everyone's favorite tortilla chip. Um, some light ranch dressing. These are my favorite olives, garlic stuffed olives. These are really good with sandwiches. Um, some flaming Hot Cheetos. 
uh, chunky garden combination ragu uh, pasta sauce. Uh, this is one of our favorites. Lots of vegetables. Um, along with the half-length um, spaghetti. I had ordered two, but there seems to be one missing, so I'm going to have to go back and look through my order. A container of pulpery orange juice. This was also a substitution. I had ordered the, the one that's much bigger than this, but I guess they didn't have it in stock, so they substituted with this one. Uh, some Mucho Mango Arizona iced tea and some of the Arnold Palmer uh, half and half light uh, lemonade and iced tea. And the last thing uh, that we ordered um, was some, you know, a package of Reese's and a package of uh, Dove milk chocolate. This is my meal plan for January 18th through the 22nd. So yesterday would have been Monday and we had um, lemongrass beef grilled over rice with um, a tomato salad. Now we actually didn't do the tomato salad, we just did a green salad instead. Um, today we have uh, garlic parmesan chicken drumsticks with corn, french fries, and a salad on the menu. For Wednesday we're going to do um, breaded pork chops, brussels sprouts, and a gratin potatoes. On Thursday, uh, I just do a stir fry with some ground beef and some zucchini and some spinach and onion and uh, bell pepper, basically whatever kind of vegetables you have in the fridge that need to be used up uh, work well for the stir fry and we eat it over rice. On Friday, we're going to do a barbecued New York steak with green beans, baked potatoes, and a salad. Uh, I typically don't meal plan for the weekends um, because we never know what we're going to have or what we're going to be doing um, and who's going to be in the mood for what. Uh, so I don't pl meal plan for uh, weekends. Um, any leftovers we typically eat for lunch, so I don't plan lunches either. And breakfast items we normally just have around. You know, we always have eggs. We always have some kind of potato. Uh, we don't do orange juice all the time, just occasionally. Uh, but we do have it this week if they want it. Um, that's it for this week's grocery haul. Um, a lot of frozen stuff this week, but... Um, We'll go through it. It'll be gone. My kids will eat a lot of it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.